I think before every project, subconsciously, you already know what you want to do. And the concept model is but a tool and a medium for you to reveal those ideas that you already have. And a three-dimensional sketch of something more impulsive, more intuitive. And with that, you have so much room to dive into something that you originally couldn't have conceived of on paper or in CAD. Hi, my name is Rahul. Uh, right now my project's in Amphibious Theater in Portland. Um, so for this initial iteration, uh, as we're talking about flooding, uh, we elongated these pillow tees to an exaggerated point, uh, put this theater very, very high above the ground, imagining that if this flood never actually comes, it sort of remains as this icon of the city. Um, this next one is uh, based off of a little bit uh, the aqueduct language and also uh, the singular view, um, so elevating this theater, elongating it, uh, the program, and then having this one singular viewport uh, and this aperture looking towards the, the island potentially. And this last one is about um, a little bit of chaos uh, as the buildings start moving away from each other and having this screen or scrim act as a stabilizing element to hold it in perpetual chaos. The model itself, on um, like a white backdrop, that kind of allows you the ability to, in post-production, actually cut out the model and kind of place it on whatever backdrop you want. And in these kind of quick uh, photo collages, we really just put the model uh, uh, with the backdrop and then began to overlay uh, other photos we found online to kind of create these, um, these scenes that really just speak to the atmosphere that we want to create in our uh, final project. Hey, I'm Christian Heisinga. Um, I'm gonna go over quick sort of sketch models for coming up with ideas and also solving problems. Sometimes people use sketch models uh, just to sort of like work through something quite quickly because you can do it on the computer, but sometimes it's easy to figure out, especially if you're working in the physical environment, it's nice to work with physical things to see if they work. So I'm gonna show you, I'm developing a roof system uh, for an architectural project that needs to open up. And so I'll show you a very quick sketch model that I worked through. So if you come over here, you can see um, this is very quick, did it in literally like a few minutes. And I tried it a number of different versions to see if it would work. Um, so this is essentially a kind of section drawing of a roof so or of a, of a structure so this is kind of the enclosure and then if you were it would be a pump like a pump system but for uh, visual purposes I'm going to pull on it and then the roof opens up so the reason this was useful is because I could try out sort of different points that the pivot worked well and to try to sort of understand what kind of friction there was and yeah, it's pretty straightforward, really easy, kind of like problem solving an idea. And then from there, I brought it into the computer to visualize it because I'm going to do a model because there's an array of these. And you can see it's sort of upgraded to get a more expanded version of this roof system. But you can sort of see there. So now you have, this is an eight foot wide original structure which then gives you a double height space and 12 feet sort of expansion on either side. And it's going to be, this is just kind of a sketch of it, but the idea is it's going to be this mobile workspace that uh, works like that. So these walls open up, the roof opens up to have enough space to have a second story office space that allows you to look down into the shop. And yeah. So this idea came completely out of doing kind of a very quick sketch model to see if it was even worth kind of spending the time developing it.